Five years ago, my boyfriend Austin started to have life-threatening symptoms when he got home from school. He was puking out black liquid and could hardly keep himself standing up. His parents rushed him to the local hospital and he then had to be transported to Tampa General immediately. They told him that his pancreas was not functioning properly and he would need to start using insulin for the rest of his life. He was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of 16 years old. I have known him for over a year now and have experienced a day in life as a type 1 diabetic and I would like to talk about what it is like and what options technology today gives them as a way to control their sugar. The first important piece of knowledge is to know what diabetes is. Diabetes is a disease that affects your body's ability to produce and use insulin. When your body turns food into energy, insulin is released to help transport the energy to the cells. Insulin is a hormone that informs the cells to receive the glucose. Too much sugar stays in the blood if the body produces little or no insulin at all. Both glucose levels are higher than normal for these individuals. The damaging effects of diabetes are blindness, bad circulation, and kidney disease. The second piece of knowledge to know is what the difference is between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 is also known as juvenile diabetes because it normally occurs in individuals before they are adults. There has been cases where it has occurred in adults, but this is much more rare. This type is where the pancreas completely stops creating insulin. Type 2 is also known as adult onset diabetes. This is the most common type and usually occurs in adults with unhealthy eating habits. The person's body is resistant to insulin and over time their pancreas is unable to keep up with the amount of sugar in the body. According to the statistics on diabetes.org, 18.8 million Americans have diagnosed diabetes. 1.9 million Americans aged 20 years or older are newly diagnosed with diabetes. 79 million Americans aged 20 and older have pre-diabetes and only 7.3% know that they do. Diabetes is the cause of death of 71,382 Americans each year. The final piece of information that is important is what technology has been made to make a diabetic's life easier. Diabetics have it rough. They can't go scarf down a cheeseburger and a milkshake and walk out with no consequences like most people can. They must check their sugar and maintain a healthy diet so they do not have complications later in life. Checking sugar and pumping insulin can be difficult sometimes, but technology has been created that can take a little less stress off of the people. Just recently, my boyfriend went from using a needle, test strips, and a small monitor to check his sugar to now using a small device that he keeps on his body that constantly checks his sugar and alerts him when he is high or low. This device is perfect for type 1 and type 2 diabetics so that they are always on top of their sugar levels. This technology did not exist a few years ago when he was first diagnosed, and it is still growing. Before diabetes, diabetics only had an insulin pin that they injected into their bodies whenever they were high. Now they have pumps with tubes that they can leave on at all times and have it inject insulin with a push of a button. Austin recently just started using a small pod that he refills with insulin every three days that he controls with a small device that looks like a phone. Although they have not found a way to cure diabetes, they have been successful in making the strain of having such a difficult disease a little easier. I am fully confident that one day they will find a way to prevent and cure it, but until then it is important to know what diabetes is and to appreciate the scientists who are making it easier and easier to live with.